Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This one has just come through from Mattel. That is the two pack Stranger Things with Masters of the Universe. An absolute Goliath of a box here. So you've got Skeletor at the top. There's a few paint variations on this one. And if I just flip this around. Here you have got the Demogorgon from Stranger Things as well. The box art on this is something spectacular. So you've got the actual Demogorgon there on the one side. And again, let's flip this back over. You've got Skeletor there as well. But then look at that art on the back. So you've, I think you've got Vecna through the back there so a little nod to him you've got the the viper tower from Eternia there Demogorgon with his little well his massive staff on there it's got like the um, like the D&D &D type of dice rollers going on little uh, synopsis here so you've got upside down Eternia in his efforts to capture the power of Grayskull, Skeletor rips through the fabric of the universe into a new darker world, the Upside Down. Now subject to the rule of Vecna, Eternia counts once again on He-Man to fight back horrors like the Demogorgon and return Eternia back home. So you've got the little cross cells at the bottom as well. Again, there's like upside down variations. You've got Skeletor with his Havoc stuff there. And then flip it back over. You've got the Demogorgon there with his actual stuff as well. Okay, so let's crack this Goliath of a box open and have a little closer look. So getting them out of the box, it comes with a pretty cool backdrop. So you've got like the, the old cracked surface going down. You can actually see where it's all like the vines are coming out. The actual hole there as well. And flipping it over. It's got the other, like the dark red moon up there in the corner with the vines going up like the trees and stuff. Pretty cool. Little backdrop. So if we start off with Skeletor, he's got this like pearlized type of wash going all over him not only just his armor but also his body as well i don't know whether the camera would actually pick that up the shine on it but it's it's different so and it, i reckon it's kind of a good different as well he's got more of like an um i would probably call it like a more pasty wash on his skelly face there as well. It's, he's just the same as all like the other origins and with all like the little pop-offs and stuff with the head, the arms. Let's have a little. So like say with the head, the arms, the actual waist, all pops off like the normal origins. I'm just really liking the colour effects they've done this time round. It's the same type of pearlized wash on his Havoc staff as well. And also his Power Sword has got that pearlized purple going on. Now on to the actual Demogorgon. The details in this is fantastic. I mean, the base of the body, they have used uh, Beastman. Like with the armor, and it's just a simple repaint with the gold there. And then the lilac base body from Beastman as well. We've got the new re-sculpted hands. We've got these crazy ass feet going on there. So they're the re-sculpt. And obviously the head. Now again, same with all the pop-offs. With all the Origins type of figures. 
that we've come to love. But let's pop this head off and give you a closer look. You can see all of these are text textured, so they're all raised teeth going on. It's all flexible as well, although it doesn't close over. And then you've got all like the um, all like the skin detail all over the back of that there as well. The hands on this are absolutely fantastic. Big, claspy, clawy hands. So, and they're all on ball and pivots as well. And then them, like, taloned feet. Big, flat feet. But full, fully taloned out. Again, it's like that pastel type of lilac wash colour over it. So the Demogorgon comes with this fiery type of staff. They do twist round both ends as well. So you could have it going either way or both ways. And they are two dice on the end. That rounds up to 20 sided die. And then it's got the textile type of feature for the gripper handle. Now... Gripping it, so he's got those big meaty hands. It is a little bit top heavy, so getting him to stand up, you can see like one of his feet. I just can't get it to see, see him to sit flat, although he stands, it's not like a full flat surface standing. But when you've got Skeletor next to them, they look absolutely amazing. I actually can't wait to see the release of the Vecna figure with He-Man to see actually those pale eyes looking colours on them and see how they turn out. Just to note, with uh, the Demogorgon's staff as well, you can actually take these flame uh, pieces off both ends, because they do just clip on. So you could have it just like a normal dumbbell type of die looking on it. But they do look so much better with the actual flame attached so there you go guys let me know your thoughts on this drop your comments in the box did you end up getting this from Mattel creation site these come up randomly with um, the extender when the extender came available and they went just as quick so did you get your hands on them? Um, they actually didn't even come under the Motu drop down. They come under the Stranger Things drop down instead. So I guess it could have easily been missed. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. While you're there, do the usual. Would like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification. Over there in the top corner, you have got the playlist for Motu. So if the D&D type of things or the Teenage Turtles touches your fancy there is a little playlist over in this corner and in the bottom you've got where YouTube will like request like a little here's what's up next type of thing as if you fancy that one but yeah thanks for checking in and I will see you on the next take care